Hey, this is Don from Blockspring. So I'm going to show you how to see which of your competitors are growing. And we're going to do all of this without leaving Google Sheets. So the end result is going to look like this. You'll have a chart which, you know, if we pretend we're Google, we'll show our top competitors and we'll show their web traffic over the past few months. That, that way we can see uh, each of our competitors' performance and know who to watch out for and who actually matters to us. So let's get started. First, let's delete this chart. So step one, get our competitors. And again, let's pretend we're Google. So I'm going to use a block spring function to find our competitors. And so I'm going to search through the library for find competitors. It gives me one result. And the function description says find competitors and alternatives for most websites and software. That sounds good. So I'm going to insert it into this sheet. It's going to load with an example, and the example in this case is Microsoft Word, which is fine, except we want competitors for Google. So I'm going to rerun the function having passed Google in. And now it shows us all of Google's competitors like DuckDuckGo, Bing, Yahoo, etc. So great, we've got our competitors. Now we just need their websites. So we have all their names. Now I could just go to Google and look up each one but that would be slow. So instead, we're just gonna use another function. So if you remember from Google and Bing, they have these things called feeling lucky, where you put in a search term and it just gives you the top result. So that sounds like essentially what we want here. So we're gonna insert it into our sheets. It'll load with an example in this case, the search terms Xbox 360, it shows us xbox.com. Sounds right, but we don't care about Xbox. We care about our competitor. So here we can see the result gives us DuckDuckGo.com. Great. Let's paste that for our, all of our competitors. And here, uh, it's basically checking for each one. So Bing is Bing.com. EAC is EAC.net. Yandex. Okay, this all looks good. So that brings us to step three, which is get historical traffic data. So let's use another blockchain function. Search for historical web traffic. So here we have a result. Uh, get historical web traffic with similar web. Basically similar web is this awesome site that has a ton of data on uh, website performance. And so we have a function to access their data. So we're going to insert that into this selected cell. Again, it loads with an example of Google between these start dates, and then uh, gets us monthly traffic visits. So here we can see the date. Uh, looks like in January they had this many visits, and so on. So that's fine, except we don't care about Google. We care about, let's just do our top few competitors. And then let's actually get six months of history. So let's go farther back in time. And then end date is March, but we can actually get newer data. So let's go through April. But it looks good. So we'll hit enter and run with our competitors. Awesome. So now for each of our competitors, we have their traffic over the past few months. So this table's cool, but we really, really need to see trends, which means we're going to need just a really simple line chart. So I'm going to go to line chart and insert it into our sheet. Awesome. Great. So here we have our competitors actually graphed out. We can see that Yahoo is clearly on top, and they've actually had a big spike in the past two months. Uh, Bing is next, and then we've got the cluster on the bottom. So this is awesome. We've just, in about two minutes, we've gathered, we found out who our competitors are, and then we've gathered their historical traffic to see which ones we actually need to be concerned about. So give this a try with your competitors and, uh, you know, see what you learn. So I uh, hope this has been helpful. Um, thanks.